Guinness Alfred, after a long hiatus, coming back to talk about the AUT bot. In this video, we're going to be talking about did we run with anyone's money? Are the cops after us? Did we party it all the way? Whatever. Um, is the bot still going? How's the bot doing? We're going to chop it up with the bot, have a nice conversation with him, ask him how he's doing, and what are our plans going forward. So stay tuned, guys. Fun time to be had by all. First thing I want to cover is really kind of absurd, but I'll go ahead and touch on it. And that's the question, did we run with anyone's money? Okay. Um, the answer, simple answer is no. And that should be obvious because we can't actually access anyone's account. Uh, what we do is sell uh, a bot, the AUT bot, and it's a... EA and you trade it in your own brokerage you can control how much you expose to risk in any trade and you can withdraw you can decide not to trade that particular day or not at all um, all of that good stuff and you host the bot I've always encouraged people to host the bot and that's really important because when you host a bot yourself, that means there's no chance of a website disappearing up oh, I bought something and there's a website disappearing. Like, um, I don't know, some of these hypothetical things out here, I've seen so many of them. The uh, uh, gym bot, wait wait a minute, that, that was a site, but there was never really a bot. I never saw anything, but uh, hundreds of people out promoting it. But everyone got something substantive and that's actually a robot and that's all i got to cover on that topic let's move along shall we is the bot still going um you can see the last update that i've posted here is like 5 30 2023 um we are working and have developed a new update to the bot i'm really excited about it but you can see all of these updates that we've been doing uh, and in the same public pdf you can see bets uh, trades going all the way back to december of last year okay um you can see over here i i'm gonna be honest guys i needed a break you know because uh, sometimes you have to unplug from the internet. I'm not rich, but I'm not poor, and I'm in a space where I don't rely on YouTube for my income. Uh, I don't. I I trade because I like to trade, <laughs> and it's a fraction of my income. Um, so I needed to unplug, and I did. Uh, because we were doing too many updates and uh, there was really too much negativity. I felt like it was affecting my own trading. And I'm putting all of these updates up here. You saw all of these updates. You can go and find them. They're still there on Twitter publicly. Okay. Um, you can see right here. I'm quoting... A high win loss percentage you can see in the video it's something like 95 percent at that time and I'm not just quoting this I'm showing you full transparency in an account that I started with a thousand thirty eight dollars and I've been tracking and showing this account now for months and months on the end um, don't know what else I can say about that but in spite of that, you know, uh, I hear talk and, and I know where this is coming from. This is coming from like uh, it would be Internet uh, financial influencers. OK, there's a superhero show called The Flash it used to come on. I think it's wrapped up now. And supposedly Barry Allen is the fastest man on earth. But I can guarantee you, if you put ten thousand dollars in his hand. And you took ten thousand dollars and put it in your hand, you could lose money way faster than this guy if you listen to financial influencers on YouTube. They are salespeople. 
they they are not here to help you make any money they're here to help increase their bag if you hear them talking about a token they own a lot of it it's really just that simple it's always that simple if you hear them reviewing a project they're going to stick with the project about a few weeks or a month and and that's if the project that they're reviewing even lasts that long but we've been here and we'll remain here with an honest project now, i didn't show you a white paper with promises i showed you um a change log of stuff that's already been done okay now let's move on to how's the bot been doing recently because i got something that i think is kind of exciting i want to talk about okay there's my little data up top and you can see down here at the bottom all of the trades that the bot's taken it, uh, if you pause i think you'll see all the trades um ignore that one trade i was finna to start a trade in the wrong account and it was pending that's why there's no result there because i saw what i was doing wrong and i canceled it everyone knows i i trade this bot and i have three accounts that i'm trading with this is my smaller account i just started this account so that i can be very transparent but i got some stuff i want to point out right now we're over eight percent on the month you can see that there have been like five trades uh so far on this month as i'm recording this this is about the 16th now let me point something out because a lot of people have been talking about drawdown the bots walking out 10 percent 12 percent losses there's already a solution and it's in the book and it's in the software it means you're uncomfortable with a 10 percent drawdown on a day so if you're trading one standard move that standard down to two tenths of a standard now there's no 10 percent drawdown there's only a 2% drawdown on the day. Everything in the software is completely under your control. This isn't a dap where you hand strangers your money and hope for the best. And in a month or two, they take an 80% loss or they give you a dollar token. And in a month or two, it's worth 12 cent to 20 cent like Aviate. Or, or a, a promise of a bot where everyone's out here promoting it, but the bot never shows up and it was just going to be something you log into and a site that could disappear at any moment. You, everyone who purchased a bot from us, the AUT bot that we're selling, got an EA that they installed locally with all of those parameters including how much they expose each trade whether or not they even want to trade that day all of it under their complete control uh, what we've done now is to take a breath and i unplugged for a while and we gathered data and we are now going to make an update with that data some of the trades this week what i'm saying to do that's what i done I took the base amount down. There's a double-edged sword to trading. If you're wagering more, there's more potential for you to win. But if you're uncomfortable, take the wager amount down. Because every trade, you're exposing your capital to risk. And that's the double-edged sword of trading. And just to show everybody... Instead of trading 1.5 standards, which I was doing at the top of the month, and I was doing it the last, the last month, I toned my trade down to two-tenths of a standard, which is like $2 a pill. Now, smart, smart sizing moved me down even more, but this is what I'm excited about. We have introduced a new trade which really isn't a new trade what i done was watch and i'm aware of 
some things that were calling us out of trades and I gathered data statistically to see is there a good trade that I could have taken word about program to do so and we are going to slowly drip these in is variance when if you have the bot you're going to see variant a when this trade occurs and that trade did occur and it exposed my little base of two dollars and got in and out really fast um that over time will increase the number of trades while at the same time preserving the quality of trades because the market's not going anywhere there's always going to be a market so uh, that's all I have guys that's our plans going forward we're going to be releasing this new update soon with the variant uh, I've touched on uh, handling risk management I've touched on recent uh, trades I've shown you five consecutive wins you can pause the video and at any time, even with what this account is capitalized with, I could have done four standards on this account. But any time anyone has ever asked me, well, how much should I expose? I always say expose what you're comfortable with because there's winning trades and there's losing trades. That's a part of the reality of trading. There's no guaranteed uh, outcome consistently every day and a promised return that's um, fiction that's all I have guys see you guys in the next video uh, if we've helped you please help us like share comment subscribe see you guys in the next video